So I'm in the studio. Um, I'm going to Mexico soon and yesterday was my grandfather's one year anniversary of his death. For his 80th birthday I took a video of my grandparents dancing and I thought it would be really cute to paint this. I have a like three foot canvas here and I'm gonna attempt to paint it. I am going by car so it'll be easy to transport I hope if not I'll keep it it's cute anyways so before I start a painting depending on what I'm gonna paint um, I either like to print out a picture to reference there's multiple ways that I start a painting but this method is one of my kind of laziest but when I need to just do a painting right away and I basically project I have this little projector called Ape Man um, I got it a really long time ago but I just hook it up to my phone and I like to set it up on a tripod and project on um, my canvas and I just trace it out it's, I think that's what it's mostly good for I don't really watch movies on this or anything um, it dies really quickly and I don't know but it does the job of projecting my artwork so yeah I'm just gonna show you all the process of how I paint or start a painting I don't know how far along I'll get today but I usually paint pretty fast I know it's hard to see but this is basically the tracing that I did I mostly use it just for proportion purposes um, not so much the details because I just go in and paint those later but I really struggle with hands and feet and proportions in general because I'm not that good at drawing and so yeah the projection really helps and um, to start painting I do always like to um, what's it called tone my canvas and usually I'll do a pink or an orange but here I'm using this burnt umber which by the way this is my favorite brand of paint a little goes a long way and I feel like I definitely added too much to my palette but um, yeah so just to tone um, you don't want to paint on a white canvas because sometimes when you um, finish you can see like the white peeking through and so toning it just kind of helps and also your colors will look way better trust me but yeah i basically just do a light wash um all over the canvas a light enough so that it doesn't you know like take away the pencil marks because i need those um but later on i will do an underpainting with the same color and you'll see i'm not gonna really show it but um i like to figure out my values with the same like color um just so that it helps me when i'm painting later first coat of burnt umber I just wait till it dries and I keep painting with that color so I also have my iPad out and I'll use it to reference the photograph there's like little to no information on my grandpa's face so that's gonna be really hard but we'll see <laughs> I thought I would take my lunch break um, just to talk. Well, for starters, I really want to get back into YouTube. but posting more art content because there's not that many Latina artists that do kind of fine art painting on YouTube. So, might as well. There's a lot that you guys have missed um, in my life since the last video I posted. I also did my first art residency last year got a dog and hopefully in in the next videos i'll talk more about my life and what i've done i just quickly wanted to kind of introduce what i want to do 
which is just more art videos honestly more art vlogs i'm like obsessed with like art school vlogs and painting as some of you may know i also do have like a background in art education that's what i went to school for any way that i can just spread more art and creativity like i'm gonna do it also the adsense doesn't hurt from the video <laughs> This is the underpainting. Um, I think tomorrow I'm gonna come in and work on it a lot more. Did some details and some color. I thought about if it was fucked up that you can't see my grandma's face, but it is. It's for my grandma about my grandpa and them two together. Um, I think it obviously looks like her, even though you can't see her face and only his but I think it would it's gonna look very cute in her home in her room if that's where she puts it yeah plebes um I'm about to head out because it's 9 p.m. and it gets kind of scary in here um so I'm just gonna pack up and head out because I've been here for a good three hours I think done so we'll see what I can get done in two hours I really want to show you all this process um, of getting a glass palette if you get a navaja it's really cool because you can just scrape everything off I'm gonna need both hands but yeah you can basically go One really cool thing that I learned a while back was to never just use straight black or straight white in your paintings. Always kind of mix a little color in there. And so here, my grandma's dress and my grandpa's pants in the photograph are black, but I'm not just going to use straight black in my painting. I'm going to mix all these three colors together to make a dark enough color that'll add depth so that um, it's not just like a flat image. Um, obviously, like, you know, it depends too. It's, it can also be a stylistic choice if you want to use straight black and white, but I prefer this method because it does really make it a little different. Like it adds a little, a little something to it.
it's been about 40 minutes that I've painted. Um, it's also an, a very blurry picture and the style that I paint is very much like copy what you see. And so because the picture is so blurry, I don't think that I'm going to put too much detail, um, especially on the clothes. Um, I'm really struggling with the shirt, but again, it's like the first layer. And I'm going to simplify it a lot as well, so I'm not going to add all the shadows and creases that are in there. But I'm going to try to make it as realistic as possible. And because I do paint very lifelike, like the photograph, um, I try to copy the same colors and hues, but obviously I am still struggling a lot when it comes to color theory. I think that's one of the things that I struggle with the, mo the most. I can get away with certain things, like I can paint and it'll look fine, but I'm like 60% with my color theory. Uh, I've learned a lot, but I'm nowhere near where I want to be. And so I kind of just wing my painting a lot. I'm wondering too if you guys would like to see how I mix my colors. It's very chaotic because again, like I don't really know what I'm doing on the palette, but maybe I can have like a little camera pointing at that too. But right now it's very cash. I'm not really going into too much detail um, how I'm painting. So this is my first vlog, you know. Um, but so far the painting is looking really good. And I'm really excited. It's a very important piece to me. And my grandparents, my grandma, they're not really into art, but they love my paintings and they support me being an artist, um, which is beautiful and I'm very grateful for that. So I'm so excited. I kind of want to like show her, but at the same time, I want to keep it a secret. I don't know. Bitch. I really thought that I was gonna finish well accomplish more today on the painting but I spent like an hour trying to talk I ended up facetiming my family in Mexico to show them because I just got really excited about how it was looking and I wanted to do the reaction and then because of that like I spent like 30 minutes talking to them and then I got really excited and emotional about the fact that I have the fact about, about the fact that I'm just here in my studio that I had just that I had like cried for and asked for and prayed for and I finally have and so I'm just having a lot of feelings about that and feeling very grateful um, so I literally spent like an hour trying to film a fucking Instagram story. And I'll talk about my artist residency in another video. <laughs> but anyways, I guess I'm gonna have to come back tomorrow and try to see what else I can get. I really want to get this video fit like this painting finished in this video but it might be too long. So maybe I'll post this first. Like a two part a two part video. I think I will. Follow me on Instagram. El otro preparado. Come baby. Well thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this as much as I'm look I'm enjoying filming this but it's very hard but it's okay it'll get better in time but yeah thank you so much for watching me and my journey I love y'all so much baby loves y'all so much sorry for the noise but it's very hot where I live see you in the next video bye say bye baby